Um, okay, so now these special cases are important. We've kind of glossed over them. Uh, horizontal and vertical lines, right? Um, graph and find the slope. So these questions involve you graphing and finding the slope, but they're really easy once you get a hold of them, but they're very tricky unless you really practice them. So first of all, how are we going to graph x equals negative 4? You're, you're faced with that, you're like, well, what the, how do I do it? What do I do? I mean, you could do a chart. You could do a chart. Want to do a chart? Let's try a chart, guys. So what are you going to put in the chart? Negative 4. Negative 4 for x. And what's, what's y yeah. equal to? 2. No, yeah, it's like it doesn't equal anything, okay? So where's that going to be? Uh, yeah. Right line. there. All right, now what? Let's put another number in. 5. 8. 5 for what? For what? X. Well, you, you put x is negative 4. I got it. So what can you put in for x? Zero. You can't. Positive 4. No, you can't. You can't, because x is negative 4. Negative 4? So it's all That's it. Negative 4. No, no, it's not done. You don't have a line, you just have a point. So what's the other line? What's the other point? I think I got You put in negative 4, what do you get out? Zero. Yeah, Connor. Yeah, you put zero because... Well, the well then you only got one point. What about the line, guys? One. How do we get a line? Four. One, okay. Negative I think four. you can do that, because guess what? Then you have this right here. That seems okay with me. Because if I put y equals 1, does that change the fact that x equals negative 4? No. It's still x equals negative 4. It's still true. And in fact, what else can I put in? Okay, can I put in 2 for x? No. No, that would make it false. Negative x is equal to negative 4. And then this could be equal to what? 18. 5. I can do this. Jonathan, you can give me a number. 26. A thousand. The point is, now what are these points when I plot them? Where do they go? On the negative 4, 1. You guys try to plot them. Let me see you guys do the work first. Don't wait for me. Right, okay, but write it down. Plot them out. Let's see you do the line. Let's see you draw the line. Let's see you draw the line. Look at all these points. Negative 4, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 4, 5 is up here. All right? What do they have in common? Any of these points can be like that. You can do negative 4, you can do negative 4, negative 4. They're undefined lines. No, they're not undefined points. Okay? They all make points. All you need is two points to make a line. So let's draw the line. Right? And what does this line look like? Undefined line. Okay, what are, they're just a little more intuitive. Okay, yeah, it, the so slope is undefined. Oh, the slope line. is undefined. Oh, I know what you guys are <laughs> But the line is a vertical line. Intersecting line. Vertical line. Um, undefined slope. Okay? 340. Remember, what we're talking about when we say undefined is the slope of the line. The line itself isn't undefined, it's just the slope of the line is undefined. Okay? Now, whenever you have an equation, whenever you have an equation with x equals a number, guess what? It will be like this. And if you really don't remember, you can always make a chart and, and logically, y can be anything it wants as long as you make x equal to whatever it says it's equal to. Okay? Simple as that. Any questions? Let's do this one. y equals negative 2. Now, let's make a chart if you want. You don't always have to make a table, but let's just do it. Just for fun. Why not? Why not? Oh, X yeah. and Y. So what is Y equal to? Negative 2. No matter what. Well, what is X equal to when Y is equal to negative 2? 5. Five. 0. We can make it 0. No, why not? Sure, we can. We can. We can make it 5. We can do anything we want. As long as you make negative 2 equal to that. As long as we make negative 2, Y equal to negative 2, X can be anything it wants. And what do we do when we plot this now? Zero, negative two. Go ahead and plot it. This is going to be down here. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Negative two. Okay. Okay. And what about negative three, negative two? For that one. And down two. Guess what we have? What kind of line do we have? Horizontal. It's a horizontal line. And guess what? What is the slope? Zero. Good job. Okay. So this is a horizontal line. It's slope zero. Or zero slope. So there's a bunch of questions that borrow from that. And part of the homework that goes with that is um, all. You need to practice a lot of these. 
321. Number 21 through 28, ball. Okay, that's what these questions are like. Part of your homework is page 316, 34 through 49 all, and page 321, 21 through 28 all. Round to cover. I don't know why they designed it like that. It's a really hard course. Can we, can we pause that? You're always filming everything I'm doing. Damn you, Because you're funny. I know I'm funny, but that doesn't mean we want to film it. All the moments of the day. Yeah. I think life should be recorded yesterday. Do what? I think life should be recorded 24-7. Who? Yeah, so you can look so, back at it. So I'm recording for you. Oh, life should be recorded. Oh, okay. <laughs>